Number 10. Grizzly Beer North American brown beers have a fearsome reputation to go with their physical prowess and outstanding natural weaponry. The common name, Grizzly, is often used in reference to brown bear species found in the US. These include the Ursus Arctus Horribilis or the mainland grizzly, the peninsula grizzly and Kodiak beers, only found in Alaska's eponymous archipelago. The latter rivals the polar bear as the largest land carnival on earth. Kodiak beers have been known to weigh over 1,500 pounds, which is almost as heavy as the average bull. As evident from the prominent muscular hump on their shoulders, grizzlies are built for power. Moreover, they have massive canines, claws that grow up to six inches, and jaws strong enough to crush bowling balls. As a grizzly stands up on its hind legs, it will often use its superior strength to take down a victim. It will bite at the victim's lower jaw, which is most likely a disarming technique. Confrontations between humans and grizzly bears can occur as a result of hunting as well as camping. They have a phenomenal sense of smell and are often attracted to food that hasn't been stored properly. There have been several reports of campers being dragged out of their tents by attacking grizzlies. Conditioning the bears to campsite food can accustom them to human presence, thus increasing the likelihood of future attacks. Number 9. Spiders Black widows and brown recluse spiders share an entry on our list as the most dangerous spiders in the US. Female black widows, distinguishable by the red hourglass mark on their abdomens, are the most fearsome by reputation. They'll sometimes devour their partners after mating and own highly toxic venom. The illness associated with black widow envenomation is called latrodectism. It's described by pain, vomiting and muscle rigidity. Contrary to popular belief, the condition is really fatal for humans. The brown recluse spider, although only slightly larger than a US penny, is quite dangerous in its own right. The hemotoxic properties of its venom can cause tissue necrosis. Severe lesions can become infected and may even lead to amputation. Yet, like the black widows, the bite of a brown recluse spider is seldom fatal. Number 8. Cougar Cougars, also known as pumas or mountain lions, have the widest distribution of any wild animal in the Americas. In the US, populations are found across 16 states, mostly on the west coast. Male cougars average about 150 pounds, but in rare cases may surpass 200 pounds. Even though that's about the weight of the average American male, the difference in power is considerable. Relative to its size, the cougar has the largest paws and hind legs found within the feline family. This enables it to perform outstanding leaps and reach sprinting speeds of up to 50 miles per hour, which is actually faster than a greyhound. It can also swim and is an apt climber. A cougar's muscular body is perfectly designed for grasping and holding large prey, an ability enhanced by the retractable claws on its paws. Attacks on humans are rare but have seen an increase in recent years, mainly due to expansion into the cougar's natural range. The feline will attack if cornered or if a human triggers its chase instinct, typically by turning their back and running away. An attack usually involves a bite to the neck, in which the animal tries to sink its teeth between the vertebrae and into the spinal cord. Children are at greatest risk of getting ambushed by a cougar and the least likely to survive an attack. Number seven gray wolf. As the largest and strongest member of the Canada family, the gray wolf was a mandatory introduction to our list. Its teeth are specialized for crushing bone and its slender, powerfully built body favors relentless attacks. Although dangerous enough on its own, the wolf is notable for its pack behavior and cooperative hunting. A pack of 15 wolves, for example, is capable of taking down an adult moose. Interestingly enough, the deer species can easily grow to be 15 times heavier than an individual wolf. While not as numerous as in Eurasia, North America has also seen a number of wolf attacks. The most recent fatality occurred in 2010 in Alaska when a young woman was killed while jogging. 
there's an argument that most wolf attacks are the result of an individual animal suffering from rabies. Nevertheless, wolf management programs from the United States Wildlife Service describe them as opportunistic hunters that will attack humans if given the chance. Throughout the years, encounters with hunters, shepherds and ranchers have caused wolves to develop a fear of approaching humans. Yet wildlife experts warn against actions that may encourage wolves to be in the proximity of people as it may lead to an increase in violent encounters. Number 6. Arizona Bark Scorpion The Arizona Bark Scorpion, also known as Centuroids sculpturatus, is North America's most venomous scorpion. These creatures prefer riparian areas, meaning that they're found on land adjacent to rivers or streams. The popularity of irrigated lawns and other man-made water systems have led to an increase of scorpion populations in residential areas. The symptoms associated with the Arizona bark scorpion's sting can last from 24 to 72 hours. They include intense pain, numbness and convulsions or temporary dysfunction of the affected area. The pain is so intense that victims reported experiencing sensations similar to electric shocks. While fatalities are rare, there are certain groups that are more at risk than others such as children, the elderly or people with compromised immune systems. In Arizona, thousands of people are reportedly stung by the scorpion each year. Number 5. Bull Shark With the Atlantic Ocean on its east coast and the Pacific Ocean in the west, the US faces more than a dozen shark attacks every year. While the Great White receives the brunt of the notoriety, there's an equally if not more dangerous shark. Unlike their mainly oceanic relatives, bull sharks are able to thrive in freshwater systems as well. This makes them particularly dangerous when considering the US's sprawling riverways. Bull sharks have been found up the Mississippi River, hundreds of miles from the ocean. They were also spotted in the Ohio River and in Maryland's Potomac River. These creatures have pound per pound the most powerful bite of all the shark species. There's a combination of factors that make them particularly dangerous towards humans. It's not only about bite force and size. Even though females average roughly 300 pounds or about as much as the typical sumo wrestler, bull sharks are territorial, temperamental and have no tolerance for provocation. These creatures might have even been responsible for the infamous Jersey Shore shark attacks of 1916, which served as an inspiration for the novel Jaws. Number 4. Rattlesnake By recent estimates, there are roughly 7,000 to 8,000 snake bites that occur in the United States every year. Fortunately, the development of antivenom has led to significantly less fatalities than in the past. Snake attacks are disproportionate in the country, with the majority of them occurring in warm weather states such as Texas and Florida. Among the various venom and serpents found across the land, there are about 16 rattlesnake species. These creatures are so dreaded that a timber rattlesnake was once put on a flag to motivate infantry forces. During the American Revolution, the Continental Marines had a motto flag of a timber rattlesnake that was coiled and ready to strike. Beneath it were the words, don't tread on me. These snakes are distinguishable by the rattle at the end of their tail. It's made of interlocked keratinous segments which vibrate against one another when the snake contracts certain tail muscles. This produces a distinctive rattling sound that acts as a deterrent to predators and as a warning to humans. The Western Diamondback and the Eastern Diamondback are the species responsible for most snake bite fatalities. The latter is known as the most venomous snake in North America and owns the longest fangs of any rattlesnake species. Number 3. Deer Deer may sound less terrifying than other animals on our list, but statistically speaking, they're the deadliest. A number of species weigh several hundred pounds and certainly possess the mass to trample people to death. Males own majestic antlers some of which are several feet across and definitely capable of inflicting severe injuries. However, fatal antler stabbings or brutal trampling isn't what makes the deer the deadliest creatures in the country. Most will simply choose to run away from humans rather than engage them. That's actually the crux of the matter. 
As deer move across their range, they end up on roadways or highways and collide with vehicles. In the US, this type of collision causes about 200 human deaths and roughly $1 billion in property damage every year. It's so widespread that the idea of being surprised and caught like a deer in the headlights has become a saying. While easier to avoid during the day, deer are particularly difficult to spot at dusk or dawn. Habitat fragmentation is a considerable factor in the rise of deer vehicle collisions. Today's topic was requested by Instagram follower at Ryan Thompson 5499. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section below or follow us on Instagram and reach out to us there. Number 2. American Bison The American Bison is North America's largest land animal and nature's equivalent of a gigantic battering ram. Its charge, a devastating combination of mass and speed, is powerful enough to derail a train. Also known as the buffalo, the species' bulls can weigh up to 2,800 pounds in the wild and a staggering 3,800 pounds in captivity. That's about as heavy as the average car. They own massive heads, pronounced muscular humps and giant forequarters. Their short, curved horns are used as defensive weapons and to fight for status within the herd. Despite its mass and seemingly lethargic movements, a charging bison can get up to 40 miles per hour. To put that into perspective, Usain Bolt's speed record topped out at 27.8 miles per hour. Historically, these creatures used to roam the continent in vast herds. The spread of bovine diseases from domestic cattle and commercial hunting brought the creatures to the brink of extinction. They went from over 60 million in the late 18th century to only a few hundred thousand towards the end of the 19th century. Recovery efforts speared its extinction and the American bison is now mainly restricted to reserves and national parks. That's where a number of violent human encounters have occurred in the past decades. From 1980 to 1999, at Yellowstone National Park alone, bison attacked three times more people than bears. During this period, there were three reported fatalities in addition to numerous reports of puncture wounds and broken bones. Official They Will Kill You merchandise is now available at theywillkillyou.com. Some of it is to die for. Number 1. Moose Even though they're part of the deer family, and even though they get in a fair share of vehicle collisions, moose most definitely deserve their own entry on our list. They're creatures of many extremes as the largest and heaviest of all deer species. Exceptional bulls stand more than 6 foot 9 inches at the shoulder, meaning they're taller than NBA superstar LeBron James. Their massive antlers can span close to 6 feet from tip to tip, so you could horizontally fit the average American male between them. The largest bulls weigh close to 2,000 pounds, almost twice as much as a grand piano. Moose are not only monsters in terms of proportion but also temperament. When it comes to raw data, they attack more people than wolves and bears combined. They're also perfectly capable of killing both predatory species. They injure more humans than any other animal in the Americas and are second only to hippos in worldwide attacks. They can charge people and inflict devastating injuries with their antlers. One common sign of an imminent charge is that the hairs on its neck and shoulders will stand up. Moose are surprisingly limber and unlike other large hooved animals, they can kick in all directions. Not that you should ever do it, but this means there's no safe way to approach them. Thanks for watching. Would you rather be charged by a bison or get a roundhouse kick from a prime Chuck Norris? Let us know in the comments section below.